Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to day 90 of Stake Insanity, which is my carnivore journey. Um, I wanted to talk about, so in my last video, I talked about the fact that I would really had a lot of cravings lately, and I couldn't really understand it. And then I was, I'd been good, but struggling. And it occurred to me the other day, well, maybe last night when I was after the gym, and then I've even thought a bit more about it. And so I just wanted to mention it tonight, which is the one thing that I've actually done differently than I've been doing is I've started lifting weights. And I suspect that the fact that I'm putting my body under a lot more stress and strain than I have done, that maybe that's what's driving the feeling that I need to eat carb, basically carbs. I'm not, it's not like I'm, I want to eat Pop-Tarts, um, although I could eat Pop-Tarts. <laughs> it's not that specifically, but I am feeling like I, I want to have something carb like rice. Like even if I could just put a little bit of rice back in the diet, which is, you know, I know I can eat and I know that I do okay with rice. I haven't had any, but I'm still really feeling that I I need something else. And yeah, it's it seems to have, when I've looked back at my spreadsheet, because I was looking at it trying to figure out, okay, what's different? Have I changed my caloric intake? Have I changed my sleep patterns? And when I was looking at the spreadsheet and the numbers and tracking everything, what I've, again, what I've started doing is lifting. And I think that's the difference. Running maybe doesn't seem to do that much because I suspect that the way the body burns energy for running is, diff well, it's definitely different than the way it does for lifting weights. Because when you're running, you need to use the energy while you're doing the activity so your body's burning fat or it's it's creating energy it's burning glycogen to power you while you're actually running but when you're not running there's not a lot of healing to do I don't get sore from running anymore I don't you know I, I, my muscles don't need to heal after I run even if I run for probably I could probably run 10k and I wouldn't be sore from it so there's not like a healing thing that needs to happen Whereas when I'm lifting weights and I'm pushing myself to failure, I'm quite sore. My muscles are, are torn. They need to repair. So there's a lot more rebuilding going on. And I know a lot of people have also said that, and I, I don't know the research and the detail, but it seems to be the case that when you're doing carnivore as well, you get a lot more like your body has a chance to maybe repair some of the bones so you might get a bit more bone density you might you know there's some other side effects that go along with it as well where your body's repairing itself so it may not even be visible muscle um, or anything like that it's just your body is in the process of fixing itself so it's doing things behind the scenes and if I tell you what if you increase bone density then that absolutely is going to increase your weight so there could be lots of stuff going on, but I think it's pretty much all tied to lifting weights. My weight over the last few days has kept going up, um, but I did, and I'm, I'll, I'll do a monthly summary at the end, and maybe I should probably save it for the end of the month, but I'll, I'll look at it now anyway. But I was looking at my average weight, um, and this is another good benefit of keeping the data. So I can go back and look at the averages and I can start to say, OK, well, what's actually going on? And I can ignore the small ups and downs. But in January, my average weight was 97.4 kilos. It then went down to 95.2 in February and it's now 94. So it is still falling. And it's more than a couple of pounds. I mean, that's a couple of pounds a month, five pounds a month, basically which, you know, that's okay. If I just keep going that way and I'm working out and I'm putting on a bit of muscle and my body's changing shape, that's totally fine. But um, yeah, the cravings, the cravings are still, they're still there. I, 
I don't really know what to do with it. I'm really, really trying to stay off of nuts and peanuts and those sorts of things. And some people had mentioned, and I've mentioned this before, but I've switched over to kind of pork scratchings and those sorts of things too, because it's very fatty and it has lots of salt in it as well. So I'm getting some electrolytes from that also. And that seems to work pretty well. And a little bit of cheese. I'm still having decaf teas and coffees, but I'm not having sugar with that. So there's no sugar in there. So yeah, anyway, um, cravings, still having cravings, but I think it's probably just because I'm, I'm lifting weights. I know there's going to be lots of people out there that are going to say, oh, you just need to eat more. You just need to eat more. But I've literally got to the point now where when I sit down and I eat a meal, I can't even finish what I have. And even when I finish what I have, I, it's not, it's not that I'm hungry. It's that I want something else. And so I, I become full and I become satiated on the meat and the protein that I'm eating. It's just, I want something else or, you know, half an hour later, I want something else and I can go and I can go back to maybe that, you know, the, the steak that I didn't finish or, you know, the leftovers that I have from before and I can go and have some of that. And it's, it's just, it doesn't ever feel like it's enough, but at the same time, I'm totally not hungry and not interested in eating either. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm just suffering through it at the minute. I'm hoping that this is just a stage. I mean, I'm a, a good, solid end of my third month of the diet. I'm hoping that over the next, you know, maybe over the next you know month in April that maybe that'll all start to sort itself out as well. And But we'll see. Um, anyway, that was my update for tonight. Just one thing I wanted to talk about, and we will speak to you. It's Easter Sunday tomorrow, so if you celebrate Easter, happy Easter. And if you, hopefully everybody has the day off on Monday as well, because we have a long bank holiday here. I'll be with family tomorrow, and I won't be going to the gym or anything, so probably no update. But I'll try to update again on Monday and see where we are. And that'll be obviously the first of the month, so we can sort of check in and see where I am um, on my stats. But... Anyway, until then, everybody have a happy Easter and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.